Good afternoon, everyone. So I will explain the Newton's law here today. In the chapters of Newton's law, you have to take care of two things. Point number one: system. When you define the system, you will come to know what is internal, what is external. I said point number one: you have to take care of system. System is part of the universe on which you focus to solve your problem. Newton's second law is not f is equal to m into a. Newton's second law is f external is equal to mass into acceleration. Point must be clear to you, right? Newton's second law is f external is equal to mass into acceleration. Point number two, frame of reference. Point number two is frame of reference. You decide from which frame you are going to solve the question. Ground frame or other frame. The other frame is inertial or non-inertial. Now the second point: you decide from which frame you are going to solve the question. Are you going to solve the question from ground frame? Then very good. Newton's law will be valid. From non-inertial frame, Newton's law is not valid. You have to apply pseudo force. So pseudo force. What is the direction and magnitude of pseudo force? Pseudo force is mass of particle into acceleration of frame. Mass of the particle into acceleration of the frame. Clear? And direction of the pseudo force is. to direction of acceleration of frame zero force is clear to you zero force kab lagaoge bhai when you are going to apply zero force sir, when you are taking non inertial from non inertial frame when you are going to solve the question from non inertial frame point is clear i will take one example see question What value of m3 m1 doesn't move on m2? See, I am going to make this as the system. M1 plus m2 as the system. See what I am saying? I have taken m1 plus m2 as a system. Why? Can I take two bodies as a single system? Yes, if there is no dilatory motion. My question is: Can I take two body as a single system? Yes. Yes. There is no relative no motion. There is no relative motion between the bodies. Can I can't take them as a single system. Mm. So be careful. You can note this point. If there is no relative motion between bodies, you can consider them as a single system. Now, let us apply the Newton's law. This is the system. That's what I'm saying. Make the system first. I told you, make the system. Without system, Newton's law will not be valid. Right? So what is your light? T is equal to m1 plus m2 into a. First equation clear to you? For what? For this, you will say m3g minus t is equal to m3 into a. Two equation, two unknown. I can find the value of a. A is equal to m3g upon m1 plus m2 plus m3. 